This is hard. My, my girlfriend's mom is single. She's dating at 60, and that's hard, right? And that's not, like, funny. You laugh because you're an asshole, but, like, <laughs> you're not a good dude. I can see that now. <laughs> I liked you at first, but now you're just a monster. <laughs> she is. She's dating, and so we, we care. We love her, right? So to help her, we made her an OK Cupid account. Right. It didn't help at all. <laughs> but I'll say this. It has been the thrill of my life. I got her passwords. I read every note that she writes and everyone that comes back. I love how older people talk to each other, man. I do. Like online, it's so charming because they're so raw and honest in a way that we as young people don't know how to be because we're presenting. They don't give a fuck, right? So the websites will say like, hey, list 10 fun facts about yourself and we'll help you find that. And they, they just list the first 10 facts that pop into their head. So for, it'll be like construction worker, lonely, hemorrhoids, like that's it. <laughs> Love me. <laughs> Every older person's profile reads like this unwavering stream of consciousness. Do you know what I mean? Just like an old man yelling into the wind like, hello. Hello. I am Fedora Daddy 1978. I'm a divorced father of three, but don't worry. My kids don't call me anymore. <laughs> I was recently fired from my job for only knowing how to type with one finger. I'll let you guess which finger. <laughs> and I'm looking for that special someone who can love me and help me figure out if my milk is expired. <laughs> how can you tell? I tried sniffing it, but that's how they get you. <laughs> call me on my email. I'll be here anytime, day or night. I don't sleep much, as I'm very worried my son might be a homosexual. <laughs> how can you tell? I tried sniffing the boy, but that's how they get you. <laughs> P.S. No fatties. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun job we get to do, man. It really is. I used to be, I used to be a high school teacher. Yeah. Don't clap. I quit in the middle of the year. I didn't give a shit <laughs> about those kids. I quit on a Wednesday. I didn't give a fuck. I quit fourth period. I was done. Kids were like, Mr. Kerman, what's our homework for tomorrow? I was like, I don't know, man. That sounds like a tomorrow lady question. <laughs> I ain't going to be here. I'm not invested. <laughs> Teaching is tough, man. Are there teachers here? Some of y'all are working education. It's beautiful. It's just a hard job. I've never been called Mr. and Bitch more in my life. It's like, Mr., why you a bitch? No, I'm saying, like, why is that your personality? You got some bitch-ass handwriting, Mr. You must write with a feather. You write with a quill, Mr. <laughs> One time I had a kid call me Mr. Bitch. And that hurt more somehow. Here's why Mr. Bitch hurts more, and I thought a lot of, I think about it almost every day. <laughs> Mr. Bitch hurts more because Mr. Bitch makes it seem like I earned the title. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I worked my way up. Like while the rest of you were lollygagging and playing around, I was focused <laughs> on being the best bitch I could be. <laughs> it's just a hard job, man. Teach, I had to pretend like drugs aren't cool. Just talking like, kids, don't do drugs. Why would you do drugs? Nothing good. Listen, you'll just end up having sex with the prettiest girl in school. <laughs> what, do you want to get your dick sucked at prom? <laughs> Disgusting. Hey, you know what's better than dick sucking? You know what's better than that? Subject verb agreement. <laughs> huh? Grammar rules. You got a finger bang your brain. <laughs> Let's get wet up here where it counts. 